All right, guys, so now this is the wide pipe, and you notice that I put my shoes on only because my feet tend to slide on this turf, but if you're on a good surface, you probably don't need to uh, put your shoes on. So what I do is I put my feet uh, wider than shoulder width apart, okay, so about right here. You may be able to go wider, okay, and then make sure that your toes are pointed straight ahead, so not out like this, but straight ahead, all right? And then again, I squeeze that VMO and I drive the knee through the back of the leg. And then what I like doing in this is first I hinge into tabletop, okay? And then I finish the bend off with a round forward or a dive forward. Okay, so this is basically it here, all right? Now, if you feel more comfortable, sometimes I like working my feet out a little more. I'm making sure that the toes stay nice and straight. All right, and then you're here. Now, if you do need the yoga block, you can, you can come here. Again, squeezing the legs. All right, one thing I like to do as well, as I start getting opened up, as the set goes, all right, I'll hinge, pull forward. Now I like sort of reaching back behind me this helps me get deeper into a stretch, almost like I'm pulling myself down. Okay, you can even put your hands behind your, your ankles if you want. Almost like pull yourself into the stretch, but be careful. You don't want to like tear anything, right? It should just be a nice feeling, right? Not like something's about to tear. Now, if something does feel like it's about to tear, you either need to put your feet a little closer, okay? Or just chill here. You don't necessarily have to go all the way down. All right. Remember, everything's about progress. Take your time with this. This stuff can take up to a year, right? Maybe even more. To feel comfortable, especially if you've been uh, sort of not stretching for a long period of time. All right, so that's the wide pike.